Good morning. This is Dr. Lee with another episode of Derm Path Made Easy. And today we're going to be talking about <clears throat> a desmoplastic trichoepithelioma. Uh, this is a desmoplastic trichoepithelioma. So th this lesion is important because it is a differential diagnosis, at least histologically, between several other uh, carcinomas, namely morphic basal cell carcinoma, as well as uh, microcystic adnexal carcinoma, and occasionally they may be confused also with um, syringomas and desmoplastic syringomas. Now, the history is quite important in this in this case. <clears throat> if you remember from Monday, we had a microcystic adnexal carcinoma, and that was an older person with a lesion on the upper lip, cheek, or chin. This one is typically found in younger people, and it's a firm donut-shaped lesion on a young person's uh, typically cheek, and you can see here, this was from an article from JAD, um, that's the lesion right there. And oftentimes, histologically, they do mention or uh, they describe a central del or depression within the epidermis, and I believe that's what they're trying to show there. And similarly, kind of like this here, um, this central depress depressed area. So in our case, it's harder to make out, and you know, I probably would excuse that as just being sort of normal. But uh, how to approach this lesion is that you can see that this is a much more uh, superficial lesion and it's very well circumscribed. Um, I can draw a line pretty much all around the base here. I don't see any lymphoid aggregates like we saw in microcystic gadnexal, but we do see numerous horn, horn cysts here uh, with keratinaceous material in there. Now anytime you have cysts in the skin, oftentimes uh, you know, by either trauma or, or, or uh, sometimes they just rupture on their own, but they often rupture. And then, you know, the repair process takes them down this, uh, this pathway where you end up occasionally getting um, calcifications developing within them. So this is a helpful diagnostic clue, um, typically in basal, although I, I don't really use this feature, but it, um, we describe it as uh, basal cell carcinomas generally do have less likely have a chance to have calcifications while um, desmoplastic trichoeps will more commonly have uh, calcifications, probably due to the presence of the, of the cysts. So as we go around, you can take a look at these tumor cells. They, they look quite, they can look quite similar to desmoplastic, sorry, uh, morpheiform, morpheiform basal cell carcinoma. But like we know in um, trichoepitheliomas, the there's not much clefting, and if there is clefting, it's along the outside here. You can see that the collagen bundles are kind of clefted, and it's forming these whirling nodule, nodular arrangements. Um, again, you know, it's actually easier to see it from lower power, but here there's no cleft around the outside, and you have sort of cleft in the collagen tissue around the, this lesion. Um, and again, this is different from per, uh, microcystic adnexal carcinoma because we don't see any perineural invasion. We don't see the lymphoid aggregates. And it's a fairly well circumscribed lesion with horn pseudocysts and uh, calcifications. Here's more of that whirling, uh, you know, the clefting occurs on the outside here. Now, because this lesion has been pretty hard to identify, um, and, between this and a microcystic adnexal carcinoma, there's been several kind of immunostains have been used to, to help us out. Um, one of them is CK20. Um, CK20 stains Merkel cell carcinoma, uh, sorry, stains Merkel cells. And Merkel cells are more commonly found in trichoepitheliomas, just as a normal constituent of the, this epithelium. And, you know, very rarely found in uh, microcystic adnexal carcinoma and basal, I'm sorry, and basal cell carcinoma. Let's see, other stains, so CD34 <clears throat> will uh, occasionally stain the trichoep uh, stroma, but be negative in basal cell carcinomas, the morpheiform type. Um, BCL2 is another marker that you can use, although I, I I uh, sometimes don't find it too useful because these cords here can be so thin. Uh, but in BCL2 will be positive diffusely in most basal cell carcinomas, but only along the peripheral edge of desmoplastic trichoeps. Um, there's another stain called P75, which is a neutrophin receptor. 
And this will be positive in trichoepithelioma and negative in morpheiform basal cell carcinoma. And finally, I would say that CEA, especially in areas that look kind of uh, eccrine differentiation, like out here, is helpful in differentiating this from you know, desmoplastic syringomas because these will be negative uh, for CEA while the desmoplastic syringomas will be positive for uh, CEA. So again, from low power, the way we work this diagnosis up is that it is a well-circumscribed lesion in a younger individual, typically a younger individual on the cheek, often with a central del or depression, um, numerous kind of horn cysts. Oftentimes there are calcifications and the clefting pattern will be quite similar to um, typical trichoeps where you, it's not clefting around the tumor islands, but actually around the uh, stroma. So here you can see a cleft here. There's no uh, lymphoid aggregates and there is no perineural invasion, differentiating it from a microcystic adnexal carcinoma. Here's just another example. Um, so here, you know, more pronounced uh, calcifications here. And actually this has some inflammation probably because there some of these horn pseudocysts had prior you know, rupture before and you can see that's why it's pretty fibrotic here as well. Uh, numerous of these micro cysts and some of them even looking kind of syringo uh, or, or eccrine ductal differentiation. So, um, but overall very well circumscribed, not penetrating deeply and generally in a younger person. All right, guys, thank you very much. This, this was a tough case. And um, if you guys have liked this, uh, if you guys have learned anything from this, please like, subscribe, and share with somebody else that you may think this may help. Thanks. Until next time.